Welcome guys to my Magicka Templar PvP build, Mark Plus are looking crazy in this patch. The burst potential with Power of the Light, yes the Stamina Morph blessed the Hybrid Meta with our ultimate Crash and Sweep is insane. The easy playstyle is perfectly made for beginners and bobos like me. Simple rotation, simple burst combinations and with healing skills like Honor the Dead, survivability is no issue. As sets, one craftable set on the front bar called Wretched Vitality instead of Burning Spell Weave. Damage wise, still the same thanks to some skill changes, which I get into it later. The amount of Magicka and Stamina Sustain is incredible with it. We can easily proc it with uh, Elemental Drain and Power of the Light. With both, we also have access to both Breach debuffs, Minor and Major Breach, as a result almost 10k extra penetration. A spec bar set, the new one called Redding Cry, instead of Olorime, with a ton of crit resistance over 1.6k and 300 spell damage, the best choice for almost every class in this patch. It's even better than Transmutation and Powerful Assault combined. It's crazy. Mythic item, Malakat, what else in terms of damage, still the best choice. If you prefer more tankiness, go for Markun or even Death Dealer's Feet. Should work too. Monster set, same like previous patch, Mark Incarnate. With minor resolve and minor courage, we gain both tankiness and damage. Alternative, Balog for more burst potential. Or Malubeth for extra tankiness with minor vitality. As one set piece filler, Trainee for extra HP. Some changes on the armor type, trade skills with three heavy armor pieces, make sure to use chest piece and two other big pieces for extra armor, then one medium armor and three light armor pieces, trades two sturdy, one well fitted and four impen. You could probably even drop impen completely for more sturdy or well fitted pieces, but for my playstyle I prefer to keep some impen pieces on. Adapt some small things to your own playstyle. Glyphs, full prismatic is definitely needed, for the extra stamina, with biting jabs as spammable. Jewelry, full infused with two spell damage glyphs and one tristed region glyph. For battlegrounds, we need the extra sustain. For CP campaigns or IC, swap to full spell damage, don't worry about the sustain. Batched vitality will give you more than enough of it. Front bar, still an inferno, with sharpened and the berserker glyph, shock glyph works too. I simply need the extra range for my light and heavy attacks and to regain Magicka. If you prefer do it, go for it, with two maces non sharp for the maximum deeps. On the back bar I dropped the restoration stuff for one and shield for extra tankiness with powered and sturdy shield, with tricer glyph and as poisons, the escape is poisons for extra CC immunity. Big changes on the skills, I swapped out puncturing sweep for the stamina morph biting jabs, simply because of the spell damage buff major sorcery, which allows us to use the tricep potions instead of the spare power potion, for extra stamina sustain and the HP regain, then elemental drain for major breach and minor magicka steal, power of the light instead of perfect light for minor breach, a stun still toppling charge a must have for solo pvp players, it's always hard to keep enough pressure without ACC and it sets the enemy of balance too. As ultimate crash and sweep, still the better choice with the extra 60% damage on the fly. Without a rest of stuff I dropped rapid region and forced myself with living dark, I simply hate this skill, it's hell annoying, it snares 40% and heats on top quite a bit. It allows you to keep distance, which makes it even harder to directly hit you without spending a ton of stamina with sprint or roll dodge to overcome the 40% snare. And probably also worth it for the psychological aspect. I'm not a vampire anymore, back to race against time. The undeath passive and the mist form doesn't really fit in with this setup, especially for battlegrounds. It simply needs too much effort in terms of sustain so the spell damage glyphs or even the Atromundus to compensate the big amount of skill cost increase. A burst heal or not a dead, one of the strongest burst heals in this game, directly behind K 
Calculating Blood, the most ridiculously one. Channeled Focus as Resistance Buff and Next Magical Region. Extended Ritual as Purge and Healing. And for group play a must have because of the synergy Purify which cleanses all debuffs of your mates. Defensive ultimate still Spellwall. Alternative the Psychic ultimate Temporal Guard for minor protection is fine too. I would slot it but I'm too lazy to grab Psychic until level 10. Race Breton is the best choice followed by Dama and Imperial. I am not simply because I mainly played Stamp on this char. Mundus the Apprentice for extra spell damage. The Antonac is not needed with Red Vitality. Food, the Tricet Food, Sugar Scouts for extra stamina for a over 20k stamp pool. Attribute points, 34 in Magicka and 30 in HP. Potions, the Tricet Potions. Blue CPs, Biting Aura, Mastered Arms to a sweep of Ironclad. Red ones, Stamp of Suffering, Pains of Huge Celebrity and Slippery. Let me show you an easy and powerful burst combination to set the enemy under pressure. First of all, try to make sure that your buffs are always up before you even start. Buffs like Extended Ritual, Channeled Focus, Race Against Time and Living Dark. Then apply Elemental Drain on the target, followed by Power of the Light, into Fully Charged Heavy Attack or simply a Light Attack here, into Toppling Charge, Crash and Sweep, and then spam jabs in combination with light attacks. Now with some Battlegrounds gameplay footage before the video starts, don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below. It took me hell long to make this video, I would really appreciate it guys. I'll leave you here, thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao! Trying to think of ways to you Your voice stuck in my brain We never got to see it through And I know I feel more pain If we're speaking truth Cause when the daylight comes I still lose So will I feel it again? I just don't know And I'm hoping I'll find a way to let go so if you love me, how could you leave me so long? So will I feel it again? I just don't know. I just don't know.